I really love this block of flats here. Grosvenor Court, it's just off of uh, Vicarage Road, Leighton. Really kind of beautiful sort of 50s modernist design, isn't it? Uh, today is kind of almost the classic aimless drift. I have no idea where to go. No real desire to go anywhere in particular, other than just a walk. Just to walk for a few hours. So that's what we're going to do. So I'd be interested to see where we end up and what we find along the way. The wonderful film called The Sandwich Man, which I highly recommend looking up, and it's a 60s film, and it follows uh, a walk across London by um, a guy with a sandwich board, uh, sort of advertising, you know, mobile advertising, old style. And he walks from the Docklands right across London, and I think he ends up in uh, Hyde Park or possibly Holland Park or St James's Park. <laughs> anyway, a park in West London. It's a really lovely film, and it's sort of sort of uh, subtly psychogeographic in its, uh, in its own way. This is one of the older buildings of Vicarage Road, Leighton. It was built in uh, stages. When you look at the old OS maps, you see it gradually emerging over time. So it's a really interesting street to walk along if you're in the area. As you see a real hodgepodge of architectural styles. Leebridge Road. Fantastic Leebridge Library. Really beautiful building. And you can see there it's one of the uh, Carnegie Libraries. There's a few of those around London. The old cinema, now a church. I've uh, shown that in a couple of videos in the past, but it's always worth showing again. The Hare and Hounds on Leebridge Road. Really good pub that. Very fine pub. Good for watching football in as well. And uh, behind it you have the old abandoned ground of Leighton Football Club, which I made uh, a video about, which you can see on this channel. Uh, there's a lot of building work going on in this part of uh, Leighton around uh, the new Leebridge station. There's a lot of, there's a big industrial estate here, parts of which are being uh, redeveloped. I think mostly for housing, but maybe we'll take a little look at that. So here we have one of the new cycle paths. This one running along Leebridge Road, which would have been a fairly scary place to ride a bike before, I would have thought. Look at that, that is an absolutely magnificent electricity substation. Electricity department. Borough of Leighton. It's quite sad to see now. It was a really quite beautiful old industrial building here uh, that's now been demolished to make way for these apartments. Uh, the artist Lucy Harrison did a project about it before it was demolished. I did a talk in there one day and showed the film about Leighton FC. That's gone now. And this is what's coming in its place. This is the new scheme they're planning. Is the uh, recently reopened Leebridge station reopened last year to much jubilation and emotion? I was there, made a little film about it, which you can see on the channel here. Our guy away, one of the great Lee Valley industrial centres, bit of classic Edgelands. Really wonderful buildings down here. It's like nine, I love these sort of, uh, what are they, 1950s, 1940s, 1950s style industrial buildings. You see them all around, sort of like the outskirts of London from here right across to sort of Wembley and Perryvale. That is a real beauty, isn't it? Hexor House. is the termination point for the W19 bus. They're such worlds within worlds, these industrial estates, aren't they? There's so much going on there. 
and yet you'd never know unless you work there. It's sort of it's fascinating. They play such a vital role in our everyday lives. That's where a lot of your food will come from, for example. There's a really delicious smell of bread right now. A bit of structural steel works there, uh, window frame makers, all sorts of things that you encounter every day. But you have no idea really where it comes from. It comes from places like this, you know. Low Hall Sports Ground. This is a really big area of football pitches, isn't it? And the River Lee is just the other side of that hedgerow. Line of trees there. There's a really lovely street of Warner houses on the uh, other side of Copper Mill Lane. I've never been along this road before. You can either go along Black Horse Road or go over the river. Wow, look at that, that's really beautiful. The remains of an old pub, but at least they've kind of kept the exterior there. Truman, Hambry and Buxton and Company. Of course the uh, Buxton family are strongly associated with Leightonstone. They lived at Leightonstone House for a number of years. I mean, it's not that long since I was last in Black Horse Road, but my first reaction was WTF? <laughs> What's happened here? This is the, the Black Horse Road Ferry Lane Junction. It's funny when you follow your feet how they guide you to familiar paths. And here I am crossing the River Lee and the Lee Valley at Ferry Lane, a traditional crossing point in many walks I've done in the past. Not that many of them actually are in videos, but... But what I usually do is I then join the Lee Navigation here and walk north. So I'm going to not do that today. What I am going to do instead, I don't know, but... Uh... Oh, whatever plans I may have had, you have to be prepared for change. And the gates to the uh, Maynard Reservoirs are open. I've never seen these gates open before. So I feel obliged to uh, have a wander around if I can. This is the well-known uh, Maynard Lake monster there, just gurgling away under the surface. Completely overshadowed by the Loch Ness monster, but no less important in its own way. There she is, Sacred River Lee, here at Tottenham. Many wonderful things happened on the industrial estate where, there, uh, where those new flats are built, including uh, the construction of aircraft during World War II. That was one of the major centers for aircraft manufacture. Park View Road, Tottenham. Heading north now, parallel with the uh, with the river. These back streets of Tottenham are completely unknown to me. Someone just came up to me in the street and uh, tried to sell me a pair of size four children's trainers for my uh, children. The great mystical London writer Arthur Macken, or Arthur Machen, if you want to pronounce it, he uh, wrote about Tottenham. He came out here on a few times, on a few occasions. Once was on a ghost hunting expedition. And that's the kind of house I imagine Machen or Macken came to ghost hunting. <laughs> You're right, mate. Yeah, that's where Mac and Willow come ghost hunting. I think a house like that. The 
there, shimmering in the distance. That was the only place I kind of had in mind as a potential destination, or at least a, a waypoint for this walk, was the IKEA here at Tottenham. I haven't been in there for years. So I think I could go in there now for a cup of tea or a coffee. a great view here back to the high ground on the other side of the Lee Valley there on the edge of Epping Forest you can see the dark wooded ridge there it's great to get these views that show you the kind of shape of London so I posted a photo of Tottenham Marshes on my Facebook page of the other day and in the comments someone said you know, did you go to Ikea and I replied I said well you know of course not because it was quite early in a walk and going into Ikea would just be the end but uh, today, it feels like the perfect place to go. Ikea, home of the meatball. This is mildly terrifying, I have to say. But I feel like it needs to be done. It's a dragon that needs to be slain. You even have to speak another language. <laughs> 